we were sent a really nice photo by some fans in Colombia, in South America, of a periodic table they'd made. But if you look at it carefully, it's rather strange. It's much wider than it normally, and it just seems to go on for on and on forever. It doesn't look like the ordinary periodic tables that I've got here in my office, or, of course, the one on our periodic videos website. And the reason why it's different is because they have put the actinides and lanthanides, the rare earth elements and the radioactive elements, in their right place in the periodic table. I was wondering how I could explain this to you, and then I was sent this periodic table by the website Science Shirts, who supply many of my ties. And it's really fun, because if you look at this periodic table, it looks strange, because all the transition metals are missing. So these are the elements, it's in German, I should say, this periodic table. These are the elements that are known as the main group elements. So we have the sodium group, the alkali metals, we have the alkaline earths, and then we have boron, carbon, oxygen, and fluorine over here. But if you open it up like this, then you can see we have this group here of the so-called d-block elements, the transition metals. And this periodic table looks much the same as the ones on our website and round about here. But, and this is where it gets really good, if you pull a bit harder, everything is revealed. And now we have down here the lanthanides, the rare earths, and the actinides, the radioactive elements, which involve the so-called f orbitals of the elements filling up. And now you have the whole periodic table with each element in its right position according to atomic number. You can ask, why on earth don't they all look like this? And the answer is that this is very awkward to print. If you fit it on the page, you either waste a lot of space or the type gets very small. So usually what happens is that this group here is moved underneath, down there. So you get the shape that everybody recognises with then these elements down here, which are boring and sometimes left off by those who don't really understand the excitement of the periodic table. The point about periodic table is there are lots of ways of putting it round. And there's a quite an interesting one called the Janet periodic table, which looks quite different from any of these, where they've arranged the elements in a different way, but is really good if you're trying to synthesize elements because they have an extra space for element 119 and 120, which don't appear on these. So in the end, when you show the periodic table, you show in whatever form you think is going to be useful for whatever the point it is you want to make. And in Colombia, where they wanted to take a group photo with as many of the students there as possible, the long one was much better because they could get everybody in.